everything is covered in this complete step by step roadmap that you can follow where all the major data structures and algorithm concepts will be explained to you in the most easiest format how do you find different hackathons mlh hackathon data science hackathon you don't need to you know pay something you don't need to pull in your email address just click on download and it is right there available for you hi everyone i'm ishan sharma in this video i want to give you a great resource that you can use if you want to learn to code and become a developer in 30 days this is going to be a complete road map this is going to give you a dsa checklist that you can use to make sure that you are ready for your coding interviews it's going to be an amazing list i hope you will watch till the end because you will learn about how to start your business as a freelance developer as well in the same video i hope this video will be insightful hit the like button and subscribe and let's get into this video so this resource that i'm talking about is called as the 30 days coding.com it's a website that has a lot of free resources that you can use to learn about programming what types of programming you can learn well you can learn about web development you can learn about data science you can learn about flutter and app development so this is a dashboard as you can see right here you can build interesting projects and you can get all the information about it over here itself it's basically a collection of some of the best content out there for you to learn to code so this website is just like a it's just like a map that you can use and you can learn about all of these things from here itself you can start you can build your own web scraper you can build your trading bot you can build an interactive chart with the help of d3js and other things are available over here as well it also has a list of books that you can take if you want to learn about entrepreneurship about web development or other things over here as well you can also consume the blogs that it has over here if you want to read something and learn that way it also has a newsletter as well as a community at the same time over here. Now this website also has something called as a DSA revision guide, which is going to be an ebook that you can use where all the major data structures and algorithm concepts will be explained to you in the most easiest format. So as you can see right here, 15 patterns discussed in detail, four plus detailed solutions under each topic, 50 plus resources, articles, videos, and blogs. This is a DSA revision ebook. You can just click on download for free and this is the book right here for you 100 pages just go through it everything is listed over here the different data structures all the different algorithms different implementations of these algorithms cases in which you want to use particular data structures everything is mentioned over here this will make sure that you are ready for your coding interviews with the help of this ebook itself so go take a look at it you don't need to you know pay something you don't need to pull in your email address just click on download and it is right there available for you so this is one thing that we can do right here. Now, before we move any further, I want to quickly talk about this amazing course that you can take a look at from Brad Traversy called as Freelance Mastery Dev. Now, Brad Traversy has over seven years of experience as a freelance developer, and he has built one of the biggest YouTube channels about programming. The co-instructor of this course is Kyle Prinsloo, and together they are teaching you everything that you need to know about building a freelance web development agency. From this video, you will learn about how to start your coding journey but once you become a developer once you know how to build applications the next logical step is to make money with coding is to get a job or start freelancing and this is a great course that you can take to learn about exactly that it's not about the coding but it is about the business side of things how do you start a business so it basically talks about how to choose between a limited liability corporation or becoming a private limited or a sole proprietorship you learn about building your own portfolio website for your business you learn about how to pick the right niche for your development agency you learn about the services that you should provide when you are pitching to your clients you learn about the pricing strategies should you be going for you know value based pricing or how exactly should you price your services you will then learn about client outreach how will you find all of these clients how will you pitch to these clients how will you make sure that they actually reply to your messages you will also be learning about proposals and contracts basically whenever you have a deal with a client you need to create these contracts and this is very important i made a big mistake last year for not having a contract in place when dealing with a client and it cost me a lot of money so i hope that this will be really valuable to you you will at the end learn about the web development processes how to create a pipeline so that the customers 
the client's feedback gets back to you and you can iterate on the website very easily. So all of this you'll be able to learn from this one course itself. Go take a look at the link in the description. Use my code Ishan to get a 20% discount over here. Over 1300 people have taken this course. Now it's time for you to become a freelance developer. Use the link in the description to get started. What you also get from this website is process, right? Now process is what you need to know when you want to get hired at a company. If you want an internship, if you want a job, you first need to understand about the hiring process for software developers. So that includes things like ATS. Uh, basically for your resume, there is an ATS scanner that scans for your resume and finds out important keywords and then shortlists you based upon that. There are some amazing tips that you can go through if you want to build a great resume, if you want to learn about the interview itself, if you want to learn about the cover letter, you learn to leverage LinkedIn to find opportunities for you as a developer over here. And this just has a ton of really interesting advice that you should be taking in. For example, projects, right? How do you find different hackathons? MLH hackathon, data science hackathon, how do you win in a hackathon, a complete hackathon guide, some great ideas that you can also take up. So all of this is explained right here in the process tab. You will also learn about career fairs, you'll learn about company websites, you'll also get to learn about referrals, cold emailing, online platforms where you can find out the jobs as you can see right here. And this just goes on and on right here, as you can see. Now, the next part is going to be the roadmaps. And this is the most important part of this complete website. Let's just say you want to become a web developer. So you click on web development, and this is a structured roadmap that you can take to learn about web development. All of these resources that they have are YouTube videos or some you know, blogs or articles that you can refer to to learn about all of these technologies. So for example, if you go over here, first of all, you learn about how does the internet actually work? What are the fundamentals? TCP IP protocol, you learn about all of those over here. You'll then learn about HTML, how to create the bare bones of an actual website. You learn about CSS, you learn about CSS frameworks. So let's say you click on any of these, you will be redirected to a actual video that you can use to learn about the same thing over here. Right, so it's gonna be all YouTube tutorials, but structured in a roadmap format so that you don't get distracted and you only consume what is important for you to learn to code in the most efficient way possible in very few days. So this is what you can do. Then it talks about learning JavaScript, has three videos for that, learning Git, learning NPM. It also talks about learning a framework, so you can choose either React or Vue or Angular, it has um, you know, tutorials for all of that over here, as you can see right here, right? So that's how this works. You can again go down, you will learn about Node, you can learn about Express.js, you can learn how to use Firebase and store data over there. You'll also learn about databases, SQL and NoSQL databases like MongoDB. And this is a structured roadmap that you need to follow if you want to become a simple Mern stack developer. So this is what you can take. You can also go and take a look at the blog section. So they have a ton of blogs that you can take and you can learn about how to progress in your career as a web developer. So this is also a great option. You can learn about blockchain development as well. It has a structured you know, thread that you can follow and you can learn about what are the important concepts that you need to learn to become a blockchain developer. I also have a video on that. So you can take a look at that in the link in the description if you want to become a blockchain developer. The list of roadmaps just go on and on. If you want to get into data science, here is a list of things that you need to do and you will be able to become a data scientist and build projects which is really important. And all of these are completely free that you can use. For example, if you want to learn about NumPy, just click over here and you will go to this tutorial that you can take to learn about NumPy from YouTube itself. What are the YouTubers that you should be following? What are the projects that you should be building? As you can see, 180 data science projects that you can build right here. It has a list of projects that you can solve. So you can take these and you can get some inspiration from this. So this is what you can do. Then if you go back, as you can see, backend development, a complete roadmap for becoming a backend developer. If you want to get internships and jobs, it has a great roadmap for that as well, which includes, first of all, your resume, the cover letter, GitHub, LinkedIn, other profiles. What are your interests? What are your skills? Have you made projects or not? The next part is then going to be data structure and algorithms, understanding all the com concepts, doing some mock interviews, attempting all the coding interviews, 
networking with people, you know, cold emails, referrals, networking, everything is covered in this complete step-by-step -step roadmap that you can follow right here, right? So that's basically how this works. I hope this video is valuable to you. If it is, hit the like button as well. And you can, you can see over here, right? It has a roadmap for freelancing. It has a roadmap for React, Angular, Flutter, and other things as well. You can also build projects over here. So it has a list of projects that you can create for whatever discipline that you are in. If you are into mobile development, if you are building applications with the help of Firebase as a backend, if you are using WordPress, what projects can you build that will add value to your portfolio? So all of this is listed over here. You can also look at the books that they recommend you to read, some other resources as well, research internships for undergraduates, global, which is going to be really helpful for you. If you get, want to get into blockchain, it has a section for that particularly, right? So you learn about building smart contracts, you learn about NFTs, you learn about Ethereum, you learn about all of the important concepts in blockchain development. So you can take a look at this website. It's really interesting. I hope this will be insightful. Share this video with your friends. Tag me on Instagram as well as on Twitter at Ishan Sharma 90 and share the learning with people. Always remember, it's really important to learn in public. You need to share your progress with people so that you can grow, you can network, and you can find like-minded developers with you. And you can find your own tribe that you can grow together with. That is all I have for you today. Take a look at the freelancemastery.dev course by Brad Traversy with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section. If you are still watching, just write in the comment section. I watch till the very end. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot.